Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about another problem from International Mathematics Olympiad, Hong Kong 2017. In this geometry problem, we have triangle ABC and we know AB is equal to 33, AC is equal to 21, and we use M for BC. In addition to these, we know AD is equal to DE is equal to EC, and we use N to represent their sizes. We want to find M and N, and we know M and N are integers. Before moving to the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about the problem. To solve this problem, we are going to use the law of cosines. For a given triangle with edges A, B, and C, and angles alpha, beta, and gamma, we can write A2 as B2 plus C2 minus 2BC cosine of alpha. Remember, alpha is the angle in front of A. Now let's start with triangle ADE. In triangle ADE, we have angle A, and we can write cosine of A as AD squared plus A squared minus D squared over 2 times AD times AE. We know AD is equal to N. We know DE is equal to N. And we know AE is equal to 21 minus EC, which is 21 minus N. Now, if we use the values for each edges, we are going to have cosine of A is equal to N squared plus 21 minus N squared minus N squared over 2N times 21 minus N. We are going to use the same approach, but this time for triangle ABC. We have angle A here as well, so we can write cosine of A based on AB, AC, and BC. Basically, cosine of A is equal to AB squared plus AC squared minus BC squared over 2 times AB times AC. We know AB is equal to 33, AC is equal to 21, and BC is equal to M. If we replace the values, we are going to have cosine of A is equal to 33 squared plus 21 squared minus M squared over 2 times 33 times 21. Now we have cosine of A based on two equations. One of them has M and the other one has N. These two should be equal. If we do so and then simplify the equation, we are going to end up with N times 2223 minus M squared is equal to 21 squared times 33. If we write 21 and 33 based on the product of their prime numbers, we will see 21 squared times 33 is equal to 3 cubed times 7 squared times 11. So we have n times 2223 minus m squared is equal to 3 cubed times 7 squared times 11. We want to find the value that we can have for n. Let's assume that n is equal to 3. Then 2,223 minus m squared is going to be 3 squared times 7 squared times 11. Alternatively, we can say n is 9. In that case, 2,223 minus m squared is going to be 3 times 7 squared times 11. Obviously, there are some other possible cases as you can see here. Which one of these are acceptable? To understand which one of these are acceptable, we are going to use the problem that we have again. As you can see here, in triangle ADE, AD plus DE should be greater than AE. At the same time, in triangle ABC, point E is on side AC. So AE plus EC should be AC, which is 21. It means N should be less than 21. 
Now we have two conditions to meet. The first one is n should be greater than 7. And the second one is n should be less than 21. We are going to find those n's from this list that we have here that meet these conditions. Obviously, n cannot be 3 or 7. And it cannot be more than 21. So 27 and those numbers that are greater than 21 are not acceptable. So we are going to start with n is equal to 9. Then 2223 minus m squared is going to be 3 times 49 times 11. We cannot find any integer solution for m here. So let's move on to the next possible value for n, which is 11. If we use 11 for n, then 2223 minus m squared is going to be 3 cubed times 7 squared. If you solve this equation, we can find m as 30, and that's our solution. So n is equal to 11, and m is equal to 30. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and mass involved activities, please subscribe to the channel.